About to be released as we go into the race action. We're going to get a good start. Yeah, it's a brilliant getaway. And up to the inside already. Looks like a little bit of a chop across 61. So the two drivers in there. Sam Logan, who started strong initially. But Chris Armstrong is all over the back of him and has made a beautiful move there. Yeah, and look at that. Chris Derrick's coming back down the inside now. And Ashley Curtis is looking to make a move now. What is there for him? Well, he is there in uh, seventh position at the moment so far. So not a major problem. Rick has made the move now in the second hairpin on Logan. Ah, there, unfortunately, is another retirement. That is the 75. So doing his best to just continue to stretch out in front. And there is going to be a really interesting... So up towards the first corner. Is he going to sweep by? Yes, Price is going to let him go. No problem at all. What is the point in trying to hold... A victory. This is exactly what he wanted. And the checkered flag is there. Victorious Nick Holland. A brilliant victory. Let's see what happens this time as away we go. Chris Derrick into the lead. Oh, it looks like they're going to go around again. And oh. that's, they're going to go around yet again. Because obviously, if they can get the card stuck. Oh, oh, that's Pete Bracken that there. That is Pete Bracken. Stop. So I would suspect he has obviously transgressed in some way. I don't know if he was involved in that. No, uh, one of the cards. Look at this. Look at Ashley Curtis. He's so much faster. He's on the inside. Looking at the pace that Derek has compared to Topless, to see this type of fight sway in the other direction. Yeah, having said that, right? But Morford on the DAB et al. PCR machine. Nice opportunity coming up potentially. And uh, in through. Oh, a bit of a moment there as uh, Poole runs wide, and that's exactly looking after the engine for those couple of laps where he fell off the back of him. Now he's going to try and make them into the inside line and gets through. Um. So maybe that's damaged the track rod or something, but he seems to have some real problems with understeer. It's advantage topless if he can get this done right. Here we go. Is it another good start from topless? No, this time he hangs on the third position. So that's good. Where is Chris Derrick? He's made up several places already, and I think that's him in about 11th position. Chris this Armstrong time on there. Chris Armstrong. Can he get the move? Well, he's not quite going to get there for the heavy, but it. he will into Garda. Beautiful. And it's Brian Parias who's going to try and get through first. Can he get there into turn one? Oh, Chris Derrick struggling. Right at the front, look at this. Look how he's bunching up behind Priestley. He's and gonna he's make a move. lunge, it's Tom Lamb. Flies through the left-hander, up towards the inside line. Thomas yeah. is gonna make mid-speed of Priestley on the inside, perfect. Thompson stopped on the circuit. Yes, that is, that is Thompson. And that's, that's Thomas now losing the place again to Holland. Thomas Lamb, he's going for it down the inside. He's made it stick. That's going to be a tough different. exit. Can he hang on to it? Topless is going to try and get a switch up the inside. Oh. Makes the bold lunge for second. Tikes it round hold the outside. It? Round the outside, he's in. Place would do. It's going to be Holland from Topless. The championship is now game on for Alistair Topless, who nearly beats him. 100 pre-95 title. Attack. Game on. And here we go. Potentially into third position straight off the bat. Good start from Alan Lamb. Holland now trying to get himself back up to speed and didn't even realise that Chloe Scott is alongside. What are oh. you doing? Oh, oh dear, over the top goes to the top is slowing down. Right. He's lost he it. He's lost the momentum. Position. He has lost both the positions there. Curtis now makes the move off. First nail in the coffin for his title bid. Oh, so on the inside now comes the move for Priestley. He's still and there that's though. Top still to the hairpin. Charging up to the second in the left-hander. Topless for third. Go on, beautiful. Curtis oh, is on the inside too. Victory. And he is the champion. And he knows it. Well done, Chris. Finally, it's time to celebrate. The run. But now he throws up the inside. Going into turn two. And he does take the lead of the race. Action in the F100 pre-2000 category, ready and race up to the first corner. No problem at all from the start, from the inside. Around the outside in the first corner. Take a bow, my friend. Gary Watling up into second as well. And Ahead. that's a mechanical problem on the list. And I have a feeling we're going to see a few more. Someone else in trouble at the back of the field and into the barriers. That, unfortunately, Francis. is game over for James Holt. Makes the move up the inside, but out in front. It is the 101 out in front of Joe Scorey as up the inside line. That is a beautiful over. That's showing to face the drivers exiting Garda or on the approach to it. I'm not sure, but 
you're right, there could be a bit of an issue in terms of overtaking under yellows for Glenn Guest. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Oh, and that's another retirement. Sadly, that's game up. So uh, now they're going to continue up the hill. And now the next move is going to come from this man, the 52, blasts up Francis Stewart. An interesting one because as Adam Wardiel gets a little bit of a ticking off from the officials, here goes Oliver Smith, makes the dive on the inside line. Guest leading the championship, almost 80 points ahead of him. But uh, he's still not uh, going to take Bowie Scott. Uh, the 57 out of the race as well. I think that is Sam Hart. But where is this move going to come? There's an am amazing tussle going on for fourth position. Oh, and that's Oliver Smith. Yeah, that's him, Oliver Smith. I saw him slowing down out now up into fourth place. We saw the move on Gary Watling going into the first hairpin. So good battles in the mid. Ben Guest as they come up the hill, sweeping through the left hander and over the line. It is Joe Scurry who gets the victory. Glenn Guest in second place. I think this is going to be. No, well, it's not red flag yet. Yeah. No, there's a yellow flag at turn one, but they are going to carry on regardless. Joe Scurry is taught. quite close enough to make the move yet, but there in second position is Emilion Buffet, all the way from Juan Notre Dame up the inside. Well. Here's another opportunity, he's up the inside, comes the 70, that's Ashley a big Curtis. lunge from Ashley Curtis is in the mix there, trying to work his way forward, he had Bill Powell to try and overtake, and now the 152, and there is the move from Oliver Smith up into P3, and watch out because Guess might get a move on the inside as well, not a lot really, Jewel to uh, focus on from the 93 of Drew Stewart. Gave us a lot of action initially. Look at Scorey dicing up the inside in P3. Here they come again. Watch out for Yeomans. He's going to make a bold move into the first corner. That was lovely from Yeoman. Oliver Smith, we've got a minute and 35 plus the additional lap on the clock. Look at the jostle further back in the pack. Joe Scorey warning the uh, finish line, and that is going to be the 33, I'm afraid to say, of Chloe He's going to lunge. He's going to make a lunge. Joe Scorey's up into second. Oh, on the hill once again. Yeomans is defending lunge. valiantly. Scorey's going to make the big lunge in the hairpin and beautifully done. Joe Scott's lap. That's given Glenn Guest the crack at third, potentially even second, as there's going to be a rush to the line for Yeomans, but it's a victory for Joe. Revs Rice. Let's charge for the first corner. And it's a brilliant start for the front of the field already for the 152 of Jack Jensen. Field already for the 152 of Jack Jensen, who takes the lead early on as they go through the first couple of corners. Is everybody going to make it through? Just about. Whoa, oh, but it's a cut. Two, oh, it's three, cut. Spat everywhere. Out. Four carts spat out. Oh. Two more. Five, six, seven carts involved in that one. And as a result of that, he's actually in a very good position out front. Shouldn't have too much of an issue. Whoa. On the inside, that's Pierce. Whoa. Unfortunately, a little bit of contact between the two oh, of them. They're still running between. wheels. Oliver Smith got past both of them. That's the 93. That that's is Drew Stewart. Stewart. And he's come together. Oh, that's Joe, Joe Scorey. Joe Scorey. Joe Scorey off a of turn one. Off. Joe Scorey obviously dropped all the way down to 20th. And as you mentioned, indeed, yes, Chloe Scott's had an incident somewhere. Out of the final turn, likes the flag for Jack Jensen. But in terms of the championship fight, we have got a showdown one more time. And it's Glenn Guest in the first corner. Will he beat Joe Scorey? No, Scorey round the outside. Gets the move and gets the lead. But he drifts out wide on the exit. Guest is going to get back to the inside line. Scorey has to settle for second for the moment as there's jostling. Guest defends to the inside line. Expect that all the way through, but he drifts out wide and Scorey gets him on the undercut. Scorey is through and takes the lead. Just so much more confident going through the first corner. He just cut back underneath. He waited for it to run wide. Oh, Glenn Guest is back at the inside. Oh, ho, ho, this is going to be like that. Here's the move on the inside for third place. Ooh. Is, hang on, is that on Joe Scorey? That was on that Joe was Scorey. On Joe Scorey. Was That's Jack Jensen. Well, Scorey is hitting meltdown. Is up the inside now. Comes Patrick Pierce to take third position. This could be changing the chat. Two and 44 plus the additional lap. Here he Whoa. goes. Scorey on the inside of Pierce. Wow. That's more like it. Nice. Into third position. I was ahead of Chris Trot. So the hell of a battle going on here. Oh, a bit of contact there. And both almost thinking about a move there. So there, but he can get a good exit. And try and move down the inside. He gets alongside and it's a clean pass. Good to take that line if you're looking to make an overtake into this hairpin. You see coming down here now. But going through that corner, he's got a little bit maintain the rhythm. You've got to look after the car all the way through. It can be a little bit temperamental if you're pushing too hard. So Alfie 
uh, history of the sport is obviously going to be a massive draw for a lot of the competitors and I'm hoping that as the season's way ahead of it in the F100 UK. Absolutely. I mean, it has a very prestigious history. We've had many motors. Three seconds left on the board. It is going to be a really interesting battle. Oh, goodness me. Kieran Hill for the last time. And through that final sweeping left hander, the chequered flag is his. Alfie Salis takes the victory. And that scores. Second position, Kian Ray. Then Alfie Salis and Owen Potter. And Salis actually losing ground as he tries to get the move. Nine points coming into this weekend in comparison to. Uh, William Mills and Matthew Cowell, who were the next up. I was uh, talking about championship points earlier as Salis goes for the move on the inside of Kian Ray and makes the sweep. Yeah, Salis has clearly got the pace, so it's a question of can Matthew Cowell defend for all those huge curves, it must be said. Here we he go. Goes. This is the move on the inside, and surely no retaliation from Cowell. He's going to try and run. Uh, Ray is still about six seconds or so off the back of uh, Matthew Cowell. And Owen Potter is the last man in the championship. If things continue as they are, out of the final turn, and Alfie Salis gets another victory. That is two out of a potential. Here we go. Now. How is Salis going to deal with this? They're going to be very, very slippy into that. We get the numbers up. Fantastic. But these guys are putting on a show regardless. And Alfie Salis makes the move to the inside, has to bail out of it. Just doesn't have that. Here goes Alfie Salis. Is he going to need to make the move on the inside? And there's a little bit of oh, a bag of wheels. This is going to be enough. Just there, lunge back though. Come straight back on Whoa. the inside. They bang wheels again. He's being right behind him. He's making a few errors like that. Oh. You know, a bit wide. Well, Alfie Salis now needs to pounce on this and get it. I'm Key and Ray. Actually, come across a couple of oh, inches. Oh, he's got a bit too wide now. In the end, I think uh, he just needed to bite the bullet in the end. You can see him <laughs> That's a waving. Confirmed as the F100 Chicka champion within the matter of an hour and a half or so. But this man, Matthew Cowell, has got a brilliant. Getting into that rhythm, just feeling like you're in control of the car. It's just like you feel like you can let the car. It's helped a little bit by Salis not really getting a warm up lap in, but. You still have to do the hard work. You still have to go out. Five seconds there. Alfie Salis wins the final. He's improved his lap time. He comes around the final corner now. Ooh, bad on the steer. Oh, crass. That's not going to help his speed onto the start of the street either. It's going to compromise his second bite. But the rear wheels are far in, which may be one of the causes of the problem. And he gets crass. So here we go then. Looks like we're going to get running this time. Like to green and run away. There's a bit of contact already. Coming across the start, finish line, and three of them are off in the first corner. Three of the four carts are out by a few cart lengths. Must be said, and Stan Warren has gone off into the barriers. And that is a big crash. He's come out of the cart. Here we go, and this is a beautiful noise heading towards us. Bit of a Tricky start for the 27. Sean Taylor didn't get the lead, and now round the outside. A couple of changes for position, but getting up to speed quickly has not been easy for a couple of the cards. Um, but yeah, no, a good, oh, a bit of jostling there, but a good start from the 62 of uh, in F100. So in fourth position. Oh, oh, and that's a big shot on the main straight. Dear, oh dear. Several drivers trying to get away from that one, but facing the wrong way. That's up to speed. Some of them have clearly not been set up for straight line speed. And we got a spin down at the bottom of the hill. Now, oh, a couple of carts going on. Unfortunately for Sean Devin, that is no consolation for the Devinson chassis. Is up the inside. That is a beautiful move. So bunched up from third all the way to the back of the field. We see him move there from the number two. Yep, Hackett again. Hackett makes the move on the in. And look at the gap now. It's only nine tenths of a second. Is up the inside. That is going to be Rayland on the inside of Macy. And he's second position sooner rather than later on Nicholson. And Nicholson losing about a second a lap means that he'll want to get on with this Brit, his favorite overtaking spot on the circuit. Into Garda, watch as he goes. He's got full of confidence. He's got that inside line of Matthew Cecil. Some really good racing as Cecil's trying to get the inside line and ends up having to roll off the power and blend back again and ends up running wide. He's going to lose this position. Rowe's going to make the move for the inside, but he eventually has to bail out of it. And who picks up the victory? He comes through now, and he is absolutely elated with that victory. And look how for fourth. Who's going to be fifth? This could go to the line. Macy just hangs on in front of Scoffin Rowe. It's going to be a good start from the pole position for the 29. No worries at all for Sean Devin. He is the one, of course, who ended up facing the wrong way initially. 
uh, earlier on in the race. In the earlier race, a oh, great battle oh. coming together! So facing the wrong way, and he's just uh, having a nightmare weekend thus far. Up the inside comes Macy. Oh, we've got spitters all over the place down the hill, but and stalled his cart again. Oh, that's a nightmare, and also in the problem zone as well is the 53 of Mark Rowe. Come on, Ed, get the cart started, nice. get the cart to retire. No, he's carrying on. I guess that was a hand in the air for the yellow flag, oh. shutting the door very aggressive. Second position. Certainly looked like he was at the start finish line much earlier. Oh, there's a little bit of pushing oh. and shoving and another spin. Here comes Hackett. This is the move that could be a victory move. Back on the undercut. David Rowe's going to try and cut straight back through. Back now. I think Matthew Scott's broken down. I think that happened the lap or two ago at the last corner. Yeah. It is Rowe. Cecil is in the mix there as well. And then it's going to be Sean Taylor who is gunning through the field big time up to P. Yeah, it looked like just coming off the hairpin there. There was just. A bit of a move, he was on the exit curve, and that's a move up the inside from the yeah, warning for something. Oh, a big lunge up the inside of Scoffin now from the 53 of Mark Rowe. So Mark Rowe gets, then Rowe, David Rowe that is, Dyson. Here comes Cecil up the inside of Scoffin, he gets through. So Matthew Cecil gets the move there, nice. Out. Behind, uh, oh, a bit of contact there between the 13 and the 53. Oh, barely any bit for fifth. Up to eighth position has come Sean Taylor. So want to remember this one in a hurry. Yeah. Well, as long as you come out with a good oh, result. Oh, look at Boy. Cecil! Round the outside of something. Didn't see what, really. But uh, tricky to see anything. And this Whoa, and he's got around! He just... And there's Matthew Cecil in the red right cart behind him. And here goes Lee Hackett. No bother. That was fairly accurate. Uh, still the final coming up. It's everything to gain, nothing to lose. Well, Glenn Raylan is just uh, up the inside, no problem. Well, is there pro I was going to say no problem, but he had to think about that one. And now straight away, Rose going to get him on up with easily the most dominant picture. Don't tell me something's oh, going no. wrong for Glenn Raylan now. What's happened? Very slowly. Is he cruising or is he breaking down? He comes He's... across the line, but that was so nearly a breakdown. Rise, let's go racing for the last time this season. Here we go. And it's a good start from Hackett. A beautiful start too from Raylan, but he gets nerfed as up the inside, Sean Taylor gets through in a second oh, position and a Simon spin in back. Does look very close there, Raylan. There goes he Raylan on the inside of Hackett. Inside. Oh, he's still waiting around. Wow, right now he's so far behind, going into the last lap. Raylan checks his uh, wing mirror to speak as he leaps over his shoulder. Glenn Raylan, he's got one hand in the air. Don't do that too soon. <laughs> Raylan takes the victory.